Okay, I think I'm live. Hi friends, is anybody out there? This is Lindsay for So Fancy. Um, I hope you're having a great day. And uh, yeah, today's a special day. It's, it's October. So what that means is new month, new bundle, and that's exciting because we've got a whole new set of um, designs and fonts and some designs are exclusive to So Fancy, so you're not gonna find them anywhere else. Um, so we, uh, of course, are sharing um, a fun project with you um, using a design from the October bundle. So you definitely wanna check that out. Um, I have it linked in the description. Um, and yes, yeah, so it looks like I'm live. Um, if you can hear me um, and everything sounds and looks okay, um, just give me like a thumbs up or a smiley face or say hi, tell me wh where you're watching from, what you're working on, um, what you're most excited about for October. Um, so, okay. Um, one other uh, bundle I wanted to um, shout out is our mini Halloween five buck bundle. Um, so if you love Halloween, then um, uh, five buck bundle, uh, mini bundle, but it has like over 50 SVGs in it. Um, so definitely check that out as well. Um, and I say SVGs, and I know if you are using um, Silhouette Studio, the uh, software, if you have basic edition, um, you actually can't open um, SVGs. You have to upgrade to designer edition, which I totally recommend if you're using, um, even if you're using other Cutting Machine, Silhouette Studio is an awesome design program. So um, I actually have linked to um, Swing Design where you can um, check out their um, upgrades um, for Silhouette Studio. Um, and so, uh, you know, if you're using Basic Edition, maybe um, you already know you um, can't open SVGs. Well, Silhouette Studio, Silhouette America, they just uh, launched a new app for your phone um, that allows you to open SVGs and cut them from your phone. So I'm gonna be doing a project with that. This is the first project I've ever done um, with uh, the app. So um, we'll see how it goes, <laughs> should be fun. Um, and then of course, if you're um, using uh, like a Cricut or a Brother, um, you know, Skin and Cut, um, you know, stay tuned um, because um, we're making um, a light up camp, uh, camping bucket. Um, it's these adorable, I don't know if you've seen them before, um, this these like white, um, you know, gallon buckets, um, and then you put like a fun design on the outside, usually for camping, I've seen a lot of that, but also like, you could do like a spooky Halloween face or something, and then you put a light inside, it's really cute. Anyway, long story short, um, long-winded, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, flip the camera down so we can get started with the project. So, um, let me go ahead and do that. I'm gonna flip that down and then flip it around. <clears throat> Hi, Christy. Hi, Nikki. Oops, sorry guys, give me just a second. Well, I adjust this and um, get it so that you can see what we're doing here. I cleaned off my desk and did some more reorganizing. So hopefully this will be a little bit better for you um, as far as seeing what we're doing. But um, here is what I'm talking about. It's these um, gallon buckets. Oh, hi April from Michigan. And um, uh, Pretty Wings, GM, new here from Colorado. Well, welcome. And Belinda from North Carolina. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, we are making um, these camping buckets and this is the design that I'm gonna be using. Um, I print it out, I always, you've seen me do this before, I always print out my design on my cheap laser printer and see if I like it. Um, but you put the vinyl um, on here and then you put a light inside and then it's, it's a really cute, cute project. But what I wanted to first show you is um, the Silhouette app. Let me move all this, these cords out of the way um, from your phone. So um, I am going to try to do this here. So give me just a second. And I think I can switch to the screen display. And you should be able to see my screen. 
Um, but here it is, the Silhouette Go app. Um, and so I just downloaded it from the app store. I'm using a Android. And here, let me just make sure that you guys can still see it. Yeah, you can. Okay, perfect. Um, so I'm using an Android, um, but they do have it available for iPhone as well. So when you open up the app, um, Silhouette Go, um, you're going to sign in to your um, account, your you know, Silhouette account, and it's going to have all your designs in here. Um, but there's also a way to access um, your... Um, your device. So I've connected my phone to my Google Drive and I saved an SVG in my Google Drive. So um, I'd go here to this device and then it, um, it would ask me here, you know, where I want to, where is it? Here, yeah, where I want to open it from. So I'm going to open it from my drive. You can connect it to your Dropbox. Um, you know, any like online storage, I think. So I'm gonna open up my drive. I saved it in a folder called SVGs. Um, so this is the SVG that I wanna open. So I'm just gonna click on it. And it opens like really, really big. So um, I'm gonna resize it much, much, much smaller. Um, and you know, this, I can see this um, app being really handy for design like maybe you're at like um, a friend's house or something and I don't know um, but there's a I guess what I'm trying to say is that there's not a ton of editing you can do the to the actual SVG you can um, rotate it you can duplicate it you can get more and you can resize it um, so that's pretty much it right now. There is an option for print and cut, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but if you're not doing any like major editing, um, then just being able to open up your phone um, or your tablet, you know, to um, cut out an SVG, I think is really, um, or if you don't have, you know, um, Silhouette Studio Designer Edition, um, then this might be like really, really handy to have. So um, I'm going to change the media size to auto, which is the 12 by 12. And I know I want it to be like about seven inches across. So I'm going to zoom in here. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so I want it about that big. So I'm just going to resize it and put it on my mat here. And let's see if I can cut matless on here. I can, cool. All right, awesome, I'm gonna move that over a little bit. Um, so I've got it, I'm actually, so what I did is um, down here, I changed the mat size to none and the media size to auto, which is 12 by 12. Um, so now I've got it, you know, right where I want it. Um, so I'm going to go to continue to job settings and it's going to ask me what I want to do with this. Okay, so we'll, um, here's the material. I'm going to change that to vinyl glossy. Okay, and it's going to ask my action cut, continue. Um, it's going to ask me what tool I want to use and that's the auto blade. Okay. And let's see if there's other and test settings. So maybe um, it can only mirror design. Oh, that's if you scroll down, there's mirror design. Um, I thought maybe there was a way to like adjust the cut settings, but maybe not. So um, I think we're just kind of stuck with that, those cut settings. So this is my first time using it, so um, we're just going to test this. Okay, and then go to continue, and it's going to preview, and let's see, we want it to cut, which is what we want. Okay, I'm going to go to continue. All right, and now it's going to tell me to um, put the media on my mat. 
Okay, so this time I'm gonna switch back to my webcam. And see, so I have it on my phone here. Um, and we actually selected, um, let me see if there's any comments. Um, let's see. Um, Jocelyn's asking, is app ready for iPhone yet? I believe so because Melissa um, of the uh, Silhouette School, she has used it and she wrote a tutorial on how to do this. And she has an iPhone. So, um, and I have the tutorial linked in the description. So if you prefer to use, uh, you know, to read it, then it's in there um, as well. So what we want to do is it's telling me to load the material on my mat, or in this case, I don't have a mat. And I have this scrap piece of vinyl, and I think this is going to be okay, even though this edge is kind of yucky. We'll see. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. The one thing I am concerned about, though, is that I couldn't adjust the cut settings. Like, I want it to cut deeper than, um, oh, this actually might be too. Okay, I'll have to use a different. A different piece, because that's not big enough. And I want to use black vinyl, which of course I can't find right now. I guess I could just cut on my mat too. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll just cut this piece and I'll just cut it on my mat. All right, so if you're just joining um, us, um, <laughs> I swear I know what I'm doing, um, but I'm testing out the Silhouette Studio or the Silhouette Go app, which is the new app for um, the Silhouette. Um, it can be used with any Bluetooth um, Silhouette machine. And I think this should be big enough. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so we're actually going to go ahead and put this on a mat instead of cutting matless um, because I couldn't find a, <laughs> can't find my vinyl. And I just, uh, as I was just um, telling you how I clean my craft room. Okay, so let's put this on here. And then let's go ahead and actually um, let's go back um, go back and go back and so I'm going to change this mat size to cameo there we go continue to job settings vinyl glossy cut continue continue okay so now we're back where I am I just changed the settings so that we're now cutting on a mat I'm going to put that on there um, and then you, what you're supposed to do here is um, you swipe and it's going to say load mat which I just did and then it says press send to start cutting okay so I think it's doing <laughs> what it's supposed to be doing
Okay, so um, we are cutting with um, Silhouette Cameo 4, and um, I am testing out the new um, Silhouette Go app, um, which um, connects to the Cameo or any other Bluetooth um, Silhouette machine. And yeah, it cut out. The only thing that I know I like to do is I like to um, adjust the cut settings from here. And this only gave you the option to like cut vinyl glossy and cut. And then it doesn't allow you, well, I can't figure out how to change it to like a custom setting. So I'll have to figure out that. Um, because I don't know if this is going to weed like what I'm normally used to because I usually yeah this is not that's not what I want okay so I will have to figure that out which is fine um, I think what I'll do though is maybe just change it to something similar like vinyl, instead of vinyl glossy, maybe vinyl glitter. I don't even know what that, let's try that. Okay, so let's try cutting it, see if I can cut it again. But this time cut it with vinyl glitter. Okay. Continue. And it should go again, right? It says it's working. Well, anyway, um, it did cut. I just don't think it did the settings that I really want it to, which is fine. I'll figure it out. Okay, this isn't working, job interrupted. Go back, go back. Cut, continue. So basically what I wanna do is I wanna try and um, get it to cut again, like on the same line, but not sure it's doing that. Okay, well, that's okay. I'm, we're just gonna start over. But I do wanna show you that it actually did cut. The only thing I'm concerned about is if it cut deep enough for me to weed because um, I always adjust the settings and I just, yeah, I don't like that. All right, so I'm going to cut it again. So I'll use this. And then this time um, I'll just cut it in um Okay, here I'll go to my um, screen display. Sorry about that. All right, so all I'm doing is I'm going to open it up in Select Studio. CG. Oops. And we want it seven inches across. 
I'll put it there. Send. And let's go ahead and close all. So I'm turn this off. And turn it back on. And it says it's engaged because I think it says that I'm still connected to the app. But um, I'm, I'm not connected to the app anymore. Oops. My husband just went to Starbucks. <laughs> okay, that's great. All right, so now it is... There we go. Now I can load this in. So here's what I was looking for. So what I usually do is I usually click the vinyl glossy um, setting and then I change this to 25 and then I send it through to cut. paper blade okay so <laughs> it's live that's why all these wonderful things are happening to me all right so let's go ahead and update it with the actual blade that will cut through and then I'm gonna send, <laughs> send it through again has this ever happened to you where you're just like um I thought I did everything right and I did but user error for sure okay so um, we also have the um, mini um, Halloween bundle too which um, is really cute got lots of fun things um, and I thought this might be fun instead of doing like a camping as you know vinyl on it you could do like a spooky face um, maybe like a ghost I know there's some little Frankenstein monsters in there, which I think would be really cute. Um, because what you do is then you put a light in there, and then it lights up and it's super cute. Oh, 
Alrighty, so. Uh, Tiffany says, I need silhouette. I have a cricket. I love my, my silhouette. Um, I haven't owned a cricket in a very long time. My cricket was actually the first machine I ever bought, was back when they had the cartridges. Um, so, uh, yeah, but we have lots of cricket owners here um, and all the uh, designs that um, we have in the bundles will work with your cricket too. All right, so this is, this is going. I just got it at the hardware store. It's two gallons. And there's the larger ones that I think are five gallons. You know, they're they're much, you know, double the size of that. Um, but I liked the small one. I thought it was cute. And this one's completely white. There are some that they sell that have um, you know, stickers on them or deep, you know, details already on them. But um, at the hardware store, um, they had some that were completely white, and I linked to one on Amazon, too. Okay, so this should be better because I actually switched my blade to the blade. Yeah, see? And that's why I always, always test weed is because it just came out so, so easy. And all I did, I didn't change the cut settings, I just changed um, the blade that I was using. Take this out so I can weed the rest of it. What I do is I write on the back of my blades, this one's for paper, and um, that's why it didn't cut out the first time. Because um, paper will dull the blade so much faster than vinyl will. So I like to keep um, two different blades. And so when, like this vinyl blade that I have in now, when that one gets dull and starts not cutting as well, I'll just transition it to a paper blade. Um, but you saw that uh, before I even took this, out of the machine before I even unloaded it. I just tested an area to see how easily it would weed. And those first two times I tested it, um, yeah, it was not lifting up very easily. And I don't want to deal with that type of weeding. <laughs> so uh, that's why I always, always, always test cut because then I can um, send it right back through. So I'm still working um, out how to you know work with the app. I mean, it is um, a little limited in what you can do as far as designing. And then I'm still figuring out if you can change the default settings because um, I couldn't see, couldn't immediately find it. Um, but I do know that the um, the app, when I downloaded it from the Android store, the Google store, um, it said it was in beta. So, you know, that means that they're still working on improving it to um, make it the best they can make it. So, all right, so just a few more weeding spots. Camping is my happy place. But this is really cute. And um, we're sometimes asked like what we use these um, camping buckets for. I think they're just decorative, you know? And I mean, function functional in that it, it lights up, so provides some light, but otherwise it's just adorable. <laughs> and what other function do you need than that? So this little, this little spot isn't coming out very well. See? 
There we go. Okay. So I've got that all weeded. Now I need um, my transfer tape here. So I can transfer this over to my bucket. Put that there and cut off. transfer tape and then I'm going to use my scraper right here to just scrape this across and burnish it really well so that this the tape will pick up the vinyl And then this is a, a pretty brand new mat, so it's still really, really sticky. Okay. And then what I like to do is, um, oops, I think I've paused. Oh no. Oh wait, I think I'm back. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So then I like to, I think I might be going in and out. Peel off the backing and then I'm going to put the backing back on. <laughs> and so this just allows me to know that the uh, vinyl is going to peel off nicely off of the backing before I put it onto the bucket itself. Okay, so here is the bucket and the handle is this way. So I think what I want is reconnection. Okay, I think I'm back. I just changed my um, internet, so I should be using the faster, the faster internet. <laughs> so hopefully that works better. Um, anyway, so I have the, uh... oh no. All right, sorry, we have some te technical difficulties here. Okay, I think Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm just going to keep going. Um, so I hope that it ends up working. Um, but anyway, here is um, the handle. And what I want is I want the, um, I don't want it on the side right here. I want it like on this part here. So I'm going to take off the top and then put it like this. So I can put that just like that. Yeah, that's exactly how I want it. And then what I want to do is I am going to um, peel back um, half of it. Well, yeah. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a tiny, so I'm going to do like the, uh, hinge method, but I'm only going to put tape at the top. So I'm going to line it exactly how I want it. And then I'm just going to put a little piece of tape just at the top here on this side. Okay. And then I can peel off this side and then cut off the backing here. Then I can put down that side. 
side. And then I can peel up this side, peel up this, and then push this side over. There we go. Yeah, that looks good. Camping is my happy place. Okay, so let's go ahead and burnish it really, really well. Scraper a little bit. And then I'll take off the transfer tape. I'm just pushing those little bubbles out. And I'll push this one out. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so now I have that on. And then to do the light, so I got these lights. Um, it was in a two pack um, from Amazon, and it comes with a remote. And, you know, you can, you know, put it on different modes. I think there's like, it came with a whole set of <laughs> instructions, but there's lots of different um, colors you can do. I think I liked the fade, and I think it would fade to different colors. So there's, um, you know, different options that you can choose. Um, but what you do is you use the uh, command strips, and you put one on the bottom of the light and then one on the bottom of the bucket and you press it down in there. And then you can put this, the, oh, and the um, the lights were advertised as waterproof too, so. Uh, but then you just um, put the lid on and then you have a little um, light up bucket. And so I'm gonna try and turn off the lights and see if you can see a difference. Okay, and then let me try and turn off this one. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> oh, it's cute, and then it'll change to different colors, and so that's what it looks like. You could even do a design on the other side, too. Oh, I really, really like that. Very, very cute. I'm gonna turn the light back on. Okay. All right, so let me go ahead and um, turn the camera back so I can just say a quick little um, goodbye. And here we go. <laughs> anyway, so here's the bucket. It turned out pretty cute. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and we used the, the Silhouette app, which... Uh, I thought was um, pretty cool. Um, I'm still figuring out a little bit about it as well, but it is one way to be able to open up SVGs even if you don't have an upgraded version of Silhouette Studio. So um, anyway, I um, have um, the links to the supplies that I've used in the description and I'll post the um, coupon code for the 15% off the October bundle because um, it's a good one. There's lots of um, Lots of awesome SVGs and um, uh, lots of different projects you can do. So, and of course, if you you know make a project with it, um, we always love to see what you're doing with it. You can um, post in our Facebook group, the You So Fancy Crafty Inspiration. So, anyway, this is Lindsay for So Fancy. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.